Well, Lake Lure, as Ava's talking about, is a great place for an outdoor swim at Lake Lure Beach. There are a lot of great places to jump in, float the river, and with hot summer days ahead, you're going to want to know where you can find all the coolest natural swimming spots in our area. So Christina Hernandez from Kidding Around Greenville is here with some ideas. Welcome. You've done all the scouting here. I have. I've been to most of these. <laughs> yeah, we, and you know, you love a good pool day, but there's something special about a day out in nature swimming at the, yep. at the natural swimming hole, right? What is that? I just love it. I feel like it's just so much more open and you kind of feel like, you know, one with nature. But I just, I love being outside in general. And in the summer, I mean, really what better time to be outside and getting, you know, wet in a lake or waterfall even. It's yeah. really fun. Adds to the adventure out there. So definitely. Table Rock State Park is a favorite. What do we need to know for venturing out that way? Okay, so there's actually a couple places to take a dip at Table Rock State Park. They have a beach over there, which is fantastic. It's small. I mean, don't think like, you know, Hilton Head or something. And then they also have waterfalls there. This one right there is on Carrot Creek Trail. It's really, really close to the, to the nature center. Very and good. so you take, take a dip in there. It's awesome. You yeah. feel like you've seen something when you've made it to the waterfall. Right, yeah. Um, there's <laughs> also a waterfall in DuPont State Forest just southeast of Brevard that you say is definitely worth a drive. Oh yeah, so there's a ton of waterfalls at DuPont, but this particular one is called Hooker Falls. It's only about a quarter mile um, hike down there. If you go, go in the morning when it's it's early just because it's super popular and it's really accessible. So there's a lot of people that's going to be down there, but it's it's gorgeous out there. Yeah, it's with reason. They're all, yeah. they're all dying to see it. And then there's another beautiful waterfall in the town of Cleveland that you like, mm -hmm. and this is Roadside. Tell us about Wildcat Wayside. So this is right on Highway 11, and you just pull over. There's usually some guy like selling boiled peanuts or something. So there's Very like good. a bunch of cars. Yeah. <laughs> you know where to stop. You do. Yeah. It's a big pull off. Um, just be careful, obviously, since it is like right on the side of a road. You could also go right across the street to the river. Um, a lot of people don't know that and mm -hmm. it's not that crowded. So yeah. nice and cool water there. It's beautiful. Got a lot of fun to be had out here. And then your yeah. next outdoor swimming destination considers itself to be Oconee <laughs> County's best kept secret. Um, <laughs> what can people do at, is it Chow Rum County Park? Let's go with that. Yeah. What were you going to say? <laughs> Chow Rum. Yeah, so they have a little sandy beach there. There's also a waterfall that I don't have a photo of, but you can also swim in there. Um, it's a river, so there is a bit of a current, so you just have to be careful with, with kids there, but it's really great little beach, and they they also have hiking, tra uh, hiking trails and a swinging bridge there, too, if you really want to take a walk around. Wow, that, that's a memorable outing, too. It a lot is. of beautiful pictures to be taken of these sites. Definitely, um, I agree. Um, in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, um, yes. there is a midnight hole. It's a scenic pool mm -hmm. below a six-foot waterfall. So this place is a little bit of a drive from Greenville. It is stunning. And make sure when you park there, you have to now get a tag uh, to park. It's about $5 a day. But and also, get there early. It is really, really cold, so it feels great on a hot day. This is about right. a, a three-mile round-trip hike. It's it's really stunning. Really yeah. beautiful. Well, there's so many of these natural holes to cover, these uh, places to swim. We could not possibly discuss each one. So we'll <laughs> no. put, you know, you send a lot of pictures up in a slideshow so you can you can kind of see. But um, yep. any uh, any images on screen to, to call yeah, out? Yeah, that's Lake Cassie, one of my absolute favorite places. And that's gorgeous state park. There are so many awesome places to go. That's Calhoun Falls State Park. A little bit south of us in, uh, and then Horseshoe Falls. It's another uh, historic site, actually. That's Lake Greenwood. Um, beautiful spot, also a state park. Um, and that one is uh, Lake Kiwi. And I love, you know, your girls are always here off camera. They're nodding, yeah. going, yes, we were there, we were <laughs> there. there, mom took us there. You, yes. you know, you're on the move all the time, which is why you get so much of this material. Yes. Um, your detailed article on this is on Kidding Around Greenville, so you yeah. can find all of the, you know, all the swimming holes near you that might make sense. Yep, it's all down there. All right, yeah. anything else we should keep in mind before we venture out? Uh, yes, so don't stand on top of a waterfall. Great. <laughs> Never, ever do that. Um, also, I would say wear shoes, uh, like water shoes, just because sometimes people jump trash or fishing hooks or something like that like that. You just want to be safe and then watch for currents also. Pack a lunch, sunscreen, towels. It, you're going to have a great time. Take care of business. You're going to have a great time. Yep. Thank you very much. People can find that whole article, Kidding Around Greenville. The link is on Access Carolina right now. Lots of ways to find Kidding Around Greenville too. A valuable resources for family. So we appreciate you.